Hola! Or should I say, bonjour? Hmm, not sure. But I, hey, I have a visitor here and she's acting a little strange. I don't think she quite knows what I'm doing, Delilah. You wanna say hi to our visitors? Say hi to all the boys and girls. Okay, thank you. She's my baby. Ah, oh, okay, down, Delilah. Good girl. <laughs> okay, I don't think she knows what I'm doing. I think she's nervous. I think she senses that I'm nervous, and so she's nervous for me. Okay, down you go. Well, I said bonjour, and I said hola, because today we're going to be looking at an artist by the name of Pablo Picasso. Well, he was born in Spain, but he studied in France and he became famous there. So let's go ahead and go from where we are, which is in North America, and let's travel all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, hello, whales. Oh, look at all the fish we're going over. And then we're going to land right here. Well, there's Spain and then France is right there also. So we're gonna land right there in the continent of Europe. Oh, I hope you get to go to Europe one of these days because if you love art, that is a place to go. Well, let me show you a picture of Pablo Picasso. And then I'm gonna show you, oops. There's Pablo Picasso. And I'm gonna show you some of his artwork and you're going to think, hmm, that is very interesting and it's kind of strange. Here's one. This one is called Young Girl Sleeping. And you sort of have to look at her to see, to see her. I didn't see her at first, but now I do. I'm gonna show you another one. Pablo Picasso is very interesting because he doesn't follow rules. You know, we have, when we draw a face, we use symmetry, right? I pretend like this is, there's a line here and whatever's on one side is on the other. My nose is in the center, part of my mouth is on one side and then on the other. Well, Pablo Picasso doesn't do that. You see this one? This one is called, um, what is the name? Um, wow, I can't, I don't know. Portrait of Dora Mar. Okay, I'm going to show you another. And I, I like this one. This one's a weeping woman and it's very strange. Look at that. So you see, Pablo Picasso just doesn't follow the normal drawing rules. And this type of drawing is called cubism. It uses a lot of geometric shapes. Uh, you'll see a lot of, it really just looks like a bunch of broken glass and wherever it falls, that's where it is. If I were to have a, a, a glass picture of my face and I drop it, I just put it together and there it is. That's kind of how he does his art. So it's very interesting. I think I have one more to show you. And there it is, just so you get an idea. Do you see all the geometric shapes? I see a lot of rectangles, triangles, a lot of geometric shapes. Okay, so we're going to do something similar but I think a little fun. You can pretty much do uh, Picasso drawings of anything or, or a cubism art out of anything. I think we're gonna do something like this. <clears throat> I didn't color it. I'll show you a colored picture in a little bit. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a sun, draw a sun and use cubism. Notice that nothing is symmetrical, it's actually asymmetrical, which means the two sides do not match. Here's another one that I thought would be fun. If you did different kinds of animals and notice that we have these guidelines. So I'm going to show you 
what to do so you can get started on your cubism drawing. I need a drink because my throat was getting a little scratchy. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over. I hope you can see. 